Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. What do you think's making all that noise? Mesa don't know! Maximus back with another 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days! And today we're going to take a look at a classic uh, Hollywood movie vehicle. It's Ecto-1 from the Hollywood Rides uh, Metal series from Ghostbusters. Now, I actually had found two of these, both at the same price, $10 a piece. Uh, I got this particular one at uh, the Toy Drop on the south side of Indianapolis. And uh, uh, there's also one still at the time of this recording sitting over at my local flea market, uh, the Emporium 31, for the same price. And uh, this thing just looks really, really cool. I love Ecto-1. Uh, it's one of my favorite movie vehicles. And of course, Ghostbusters, one of the best movies ever. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging here. So here we have an Ecto-1 in the packaging, and I gotta say, this looks really good and can be displayed as is. Uh, looks like it comes with a little base, um, it says Hollywood Rides, Ecto-1, it's got the Ghostbusters logo, it's a uh, die-cast metal, says so right there. Side of the package has the Ghostbusters logo, looking all kinds of cool. It's got a nice little uh, scene of New York uh, behind the car with an eerie green glowing sky. Side of the package uh, has a picture of Ecto-1 and Ghostbusters. I love the little caution stripe on the back, uh, or on the bottom. Love the back here, looks really nice. Very cool, uh, pretty basic, and uh, I, I mean, it works. Uh, again, you could get this and just leave it as it is. I may have to go get the other one from the uh, flea market just so I can do that. So that pretty much does it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Ecto-1 out of the box and see what we think. So here we have Ecto-1 out of the packaging, and this thing is a pain in the tuchus to get out of the box because um, there is a base that this thing is connected to, and you have to physically unscrew this, and you have to find the right size flathead screwdriver to undo it. So if you get this thing, be aware of that. If you want to pull it out of the box, personally, I would just leave it in the package because it looks cool as is. The thing is definitely very cool. I do dig it. Um, looks nice. Uh, nice die cast. Uh, great paint job. Uh, all around, uh, it rolls very well. It's got a suspension system, uh, which is nice. I do like that. Uh, that works very, very well. Now, the doors do open. If I can get them here. I need... My nails aren't long enough. Hang on, I have to get something. All right, so let's see if this gun barrel will do it. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Ah, so there's there's the doors, all kinds of open. Uh, you can see the inside of the vehicle. The hinges on the doors are kind of goofy. Um, I will say that. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's I don't know. It's kind of hard to get these open. Um, I just I just don't have any fingernails to do it, uh, so be aware of that. I, I am afraid that over time, if you use something that could chip the paint, uh, you could actually damage that, so just be aware. But overall, this thing is definitely cool. I like the size, and I don't know, the, the, the build of it just seems very, very nice. All right, so taking a closer look at Ecto-1 itself, um, let me see if I can get it in focus there. Looks great. Love the Ecto-1 sticker there. It's got the Cadillac logo painted on there. I wish that was kind of sculpted on, but it is what it is. It's got the one little mirror. Love the wheels. Those look nice. Um, the Ghostbusters logo painted very well. Definitely dig that. Got the fins. Love the uh, equipment on the top. 
very nice that I don't know if they ever really explain what that is. Love the lights. The little blue lights look cool. Uh, we got the little ladder on the side so we can get up to whatever that stuff is. Uh, very cool. The back of the uh, vehicle here, very nice. Silver, uh, or yeah, kind of chromed out bumper, tail lights. Um, I wish the tail lights were painted in. That would have been nice. Get the uh, Ghostbusters logo right there. And I also wish this door opened up so that it could slide out like the Proton Packs. I think that would have been cool. But alas, we did not get that. But all in all, I mean, the detail on this thing is extremely sharp. For comparison, here we have the Hollywood Rides Ecto-1 with Optimus Prime in his truck mode. This is the Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. I think it scales really well together, actually. Um, it's about the right size for a semi-truck to this car scale. So that's pretty darn cool. Looking at these together just makes me want to get the Ectotron Transformers Ecto-1. Uh... I'm gonna spend a lot of money on that. So is the Hollywood Rides Ecto-1 something that you want in your vehicle collection or Ghostbusters collection? Well, if you like to collect, uh, you know, vehicles like Hot Wheels and stuff like that for uh, movies and TV shows, I think this is something that you will like. If you are a Ghostbusters fan, this is definitely something you're going to like. The detail on this is nice. I like the scale of it. It's about twice as big as like a movie style Hot Wheels vehicle would go but it's not overly large. It will fit well up on a shelf. Um, it looks nice uh, out of the package like we have here. It looks just as nice in the package itself, which I'll probably go back and put in there. Um, definitely cool. I wish the doors opened a little easier and I wish the back door opened and you could have uh, slid the tray out that has uh, little proton packs. That would have been cool, but yeah, it's not bad for what it is. So there it is. Go one from Ghostbusters for 31 horror toys in 31 days. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.